I'm talking with Dr. Rudy Mark, uh, let's talk about astaxanthin. We've heard a lot about that in the last year plus. Can you just start by talking about what that is? Well, uh, yes, there's been a lot of excitement about astaxanthin. Uh, it was featured on the Dr. Oz show. Uh, it uh, has been featured really as the most unknown beneficial uh, uh, product, nutraceutical, that there is. But you know, the thing is, what is astaxanthin? And first of all, the biggest challenge is always, how do you pronounce it? And uh, I kind of like to sing it. Um, asta, xanthin, asta is very easy to remember. If you say asta, the rest of it is easy. Uh, my company produces astaxanthin from a variety of bi uh, uh, biomass, particularly algae-based uh, biomass. But astaxanthin is a carotenoid. Now, what is a carotenoid? It's, it's a product that has a lot of conjugation. It has a lot of functionality. And they're related in structure to beta carotene. And everybody knows, you know, the, the stuff the rabbit, you know, the carrots, the rabbits mm -hmm. eat carrots, and you never see a, a rabbit with, uh, with glasses on. So yeah. it's got to be good for your eyes. But no, beta carotene itself is something that should not be highly supplemented. Uh, there's a there's a famous uh, study that shows that it could be a problem over supplementing in beta carotene for people that have smoked or are smokers, and that could lead to some problems. But the but the important thing is, is astaxanthin does not have any pro vitamin A beta carotene activity at all. It is a powerful antioxidant. Uh, the other powerful antioxidants of the carotenoid family that are important for human health are lutein and zeaxanthin, and those are both excellent antioxidants. But astaxanthin is really the king of carotenoids in that it has three to five times more power as far as antioxidant power compared to lutein, and it has 30 times the free radical trapping power compared to lutein. So it's very powerful. It uh, is a fat-soluble material that has water-soluble ends on it. And therefore, it can intercalate or go into membranes, stand up in membranes near fatty acids and prevents those fatty acids from oxidizing. Can you talk a little bit more about it as an antioxidant and describe what that is and why it's, it's good to, to have those? Well, first of all, uh, you know, and I had a, a, a radio viewer once ask me, well, if you take too much antioxidants, you need oxygen to live, right? And without that, uh, that would be a problem. The fact of the matter is, is that uh, antioxidants are, help protect membranes, help protect oils against rancidification, uh, it, but they have to go, go to the right place to protect. You definitely need oxygen in your body. You definitely need oxidative processes, processes happening in the biochemistry of your body. But certain places like cell walls, membranes, membranes of the eye, membranes of the joint, membranes of the brain, brain cells, have to be protected against oxidation because most of those membranes have a, a uh, omega-3 fatty acid in them called DHA. And we all know fish oil has DHA in it, krill oil has DHA in it. And if that is incorporated into membranes, that DHA can age by oxidation. Okay. If you have a carotenoid like astaxanthin near that, it can capture the free radicals, it can capture the uh, oxygen, and keep it from oxidizing the DHA. Now, your body has a certain amount of turnover of DHA. DHA is something that uh, is in your membranes and then it gets decomposed and it goes out and a new DHA has to come in. That's why eating fish, taking fish oil supplements, taking krill supplements, which krill supplements is what I favor over fish, uh, but all those are legitimate supplements, uh, helps with that turnover of DHA. And the, uh, and the astaxanthin and also to some extent lutein and zeaxanthin help protect those fatty, unsaturated fatty acids like DHA from decomposition.